Hello everybody, this is Amua Books. I am your host Alma and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the TMI, too much information, tag for y'all. And I originally saw this on Laura Pora's channel. You guys gotta check her out because she's amazing. Seriously, I love her. And then I was tagged by the book lady, also amazing. I will link the book lady down below because she actually tagged me in this, as opposed to Laura Bora, who didn't tag me in this, but said, you know, hey, anybody who wants to do it, do it. Um, so this tag is basically a mishugosh of all that and in between. And, you know, a little bit of too much information going on for y'all if you, you know, Stay till the end. I promise you, you'll know just a little bit more about me in these 50 questions. So, let's get started. First off, what are you wearing? I am wearing a dress. I consider myself healthy, so my weight doesn't matter. Any tattoos? No. I want one, but I'm too chicken to go get one. Any piercings? I had my ears pierced, but I wore too heavy of earrings, so the holes kind of almost ripped through my ears. I had to take my earrings out, and I never put them back in again. That was when I was 13 years old. OTP. I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry. I don't do Tinder. I don't do a lot of technologically advanced items. In fact, YouTube is probably the most technologically advanced I have ever gotten. So I don't know what that means, and I apologize. Comment down below what it is, and I might answer it there. Favorite show, The Librarians. I love The Librarians. I love Noah Weil. I love Rebecca Romaine. I love John Larroquette. It's just a perfect combination of all three of them, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys have to check it out. Favorite bands? Hmm. I'm more of a solo artist type girl. I don't even think I can name any bands right now. I like Ace of Base. There, I'll go with that. I'll go with Ace of Base. Something you miss. Hmm. I don't generally dwell on the past, so I guess for this answer, I miss my grandma. I still miss my grandma. Um, it's been 10 years since she passed away, and I know that she lived a long, happy, full life. She was 96 when she passed on, so there's, you know, that. She had a great life. But I still miss her. Favorite song. Um, Gypsy Wind by Farmer's Daughter. And it's um, basically a song about leaving. About not wanting to be stuck in one place for too long. And for feeling like you're at home when, when you're on the move. How old are you? I am old enough to know better, but still too young to care. Zodiac. I am on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. So I have a bit of both in me. Quality you look for in a partner. I want somebody who loves with their whole heart. I can't do any of this half-assed crap. I need to know that I am important to you and that my kids are important to you. And, you know, I look for that. I look for wholeheartedness. Favorite quote. Exhibit A. Favorite actor. Hmm. The only actor that is coming to mind right now is Ryan Reynolds, and that's just because he is Canadian, and I just, he's the only one that's coming to mind right now. Favorite color? Purple. 
loud or soft music? I like soft music. Um, when I'm in a bad mood, like a really, really bad mood, that is when you will hear me listening to the bangy, clanging, you know, loud, smashy, drummy type music. But most of the time, I like a good, soft, much more reliant on the vocals than the background type music. Where do you go when you are sad? I go to Elizabeth Lake, which is technically a swamp, but um, there's a bench and it looks over into the mountains and it's like a five minute walk from my house. It is absolutely gorgeous and oh my goodness, I can't live without that spot. It is just my quick go-to, I need to look nice, throw on dress. And then I have this lovely sweater that used to have a little bit of green and purple in the collar here, but through the years has washed to gray. And it's got this chain, and I absolutely love this chain. This was why I bought the sweater in the first place, because I just, it was subtle and cute, and I loved it. And, okay, so, have you ever been in love? Yes, I have been in love. I am still in love with the man I call my husband. He is wonderful and fantastic, and I can't imagine my life without him. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yes. How tall are you? I am five foot nothing. That's right, five foot nothing. I am a teeny tiny little thing. Well, at least lengthwise. <laughs> uh, how much do you weigh? You know what? I actually don't know. I do not keep track of my weight. I do not care to keep track of my weight. How long do you take to take a shower? When I take a shower, because I'm a bath person, I am. I will wholeheartedly admit I'm a bath person. But when I take a shower, it's usually because I'm in a foul mood and want to cry. So I take a long time in the shower. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Five minutes. Throw on a shirt, throw on some pants, and I'm out the door. Brush my hair, of course. Although, you can never tell because I, I have this cowlick that likes to give me a string. And you've seen in my other videos where I'm like, okay, let's play with this. It's because this string is annoying. And I've cut it before thinking that that will help. Nope, it doesn't. So I get to live with this string. Ever been in a physical fight? No. I'm a battle of wits type person. Turn on. Hmm. He has to be confident in his approach. Turn off. Arrogance. Oh my goodness. I cannot stand an arrogant person. I, I will be the one to call you out if you are rude to a waitress in a restaurant. If you are mean to somebody in a grocery store, I am the one that calls you out. Reason I joined YouTube. I joined YouTube because I used to watch a video or a person making videos on Cruzon syndrome and he decided to stop making videos. So I decided to pick up where he left off but I didn't want to just do cruise zones because it is an emotional topic for me and it's hard to talk about sometimes, which is why I've only got two videos so far on cruise zones. And so books are my go-to when I need something else to talk about. Fears. I fear losing. Not losing in like the winning losing type, but I fear losing my family. I don't want to be the last one left. I love my kids. I love my husband. I need them in my life. Last thing that made you cry. Um, I'm a crier. I used to not be a crier, and then I had a mental breakdown. 
and now I am a crier. So I pretty much cry at the drop of a hat. As soon as I read something on the news that bugs me, I've got tears starting. Um, so the last thing that made me really ugly cry was my friend's father passing away. The last time I said I love you to someone, I said it to my husband just 20 minutes ago. The meaning behind your YouTube name. So my YouTube name is Alma Love Books. So Alma is a family name. It has been passed down for generations. I empathize with it most out of all of my names. It also means soul. So, soul, love, and books, because I love books. And Alma, because I'm Alma, and Alma loves books. Last book you read, Ride High Pineapple, by Jenny Wolseley. Currently reading, Hidden Sea, by Gregory Maguire. Last show you watched, Grey's Anatomy. Last person you talked to, my husband. Relationship between the last, uh, you and the last person you texted, my husband. Yeah. Favorite food, tacos. I love spice. Place you want to visit. I want to visit yeah. Ireland. I have always wanted to visit Ireland. It is the home land of my grandfather and granted he left in night in the early 1900s he was born in 1901 by the way small tidbit of information my family is full of older parents um my grandfather was in his 40s when my mother was born so he was born in 1901 and i can't remember what year they left Ireland, but he was pretty little when they left. Last place you were. I went to my kid's Christmas concert just 10 minutes ago. Do you have a crush? No. I love my husband. There's my crush. Last time you kissed someone? About 20 minutes ago. Last time you were insulted. I don't take to insults. I actually, I have never really processed insults. I hear them, but I've had them so often in my life that they just slide off my back now. So, oh, the last time I was insulted was probably high school. Because to me, an insult says more about the person saying it than the person receiving it. Favorite flavor of sweet. I don't like sweets. Um, hmm, is cheesecake a flavor? I'm going to go with cheesecake, because you can't go wrong with cheesecake. What instrument do you play? None. Favorite piece of jewelry? My hummingbird, my spirit animal. Also my Patronus, and I won't let anybody tell me otherwise. Last sport you played, none. <laughs> Last song you sang. I have had Les Mis songs stuck in my head since watching Lukasha's video and then respectively going over to Juan's video who uh, did a Les Mis tag. I also did the tag, by the way, but he did a Les Mis tag, and he sung some of the parts of the tag, and I've had those songs stuck in my head ever since. Favorite chat up line. Hey, how you doing? Can't go wrong with Joey. Regardless of if he was a bit slow, he never really t mistreated the women that he went with. Have you ever used it? No. I 
don't do the chat up line thing. I don't need to do the chat up line thing. I got it right the first time. I've been with the same guy since high school. Last time you hung out with anyone. Anyone other than my husband, you mean? Because I hang out with my husband every night. Um, I go to girls' night with a friend of mine every Tuesday. It is a way for us to have a break away from our lovable children. Because regardless of how much we love them, we need breaks. Every once in a while, you just need to take a break. And last, who should do this tag? I would like to see Hannah from the Dyslexic Reader do this tag, because I want to know more about her. Hannah Tay from Hannah Tay. Please check this tag out, because I would love to hear your answers. And, of course, the lovely Rocky over at A Blonde with a Book. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a lovely afternoon.